Welcome, 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 everyone. To launch with Kim. And Dr. New. We've been on like a little vacay. <laughs> yeah. But I am representing my launch shirt. I got my there launch shirt go, on there you today. Go. We'll make some of them available to you. At soon. some point in time. Yeah, you know, we once we get to organize ourselves, we got about 6,000 things that we yeah, do. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. trying to figure it all out is interesting. So welcome, welcome, welcome back. Thank you for, for tuning in with us. Um, I forgot to even post. Here at, I'm at sorry. Launch, here at launch. You Thank you for tuning in. Us. We're going to continue our leadership um, um, series. Yes. So we took a little a little break, if you will. There were some things going on, graduation, different things like that um, for some other obligations that we have. Um, so we've been playing replays every week. Mm -hmm. So thank you for watching the replays. We hope you've been 
grabbing something out of them. You know, um, learning happens by repetition. Let me move over so I can be in the screen. It's learning happens by repetition, you know, so seeing it over and over again, hopefully you grab some new morsels. But we're going to continue with our leadership uh, series uh, today. Um, and, and hopefully um, we can, um, uh, uh, well, we're going to do it. Uh, what is it called? Teacher or, or classroom style? I have a PowerPoint for you. So that's what I want to say. And I got a bunch of notes. So I'll be looking up and looking down. So I'm going to go ahead and apologize for that first for not always making eye contact with the camera. But how are you doing? Yes. How, how are you doing? A lot going on in our society, a lot going mm -hmm. on in our world. Uh, Kim's been talking about um, some words she's been hearing. Was it madman's? Um, that was something that I received from someone I listened to. Okay. That was um, Tiffany. My, um, but talk, tell them. Oh, well, she was talking about this is the year of the bride, but then Lord also showed it was the year of the madman. And that it's just like Satan to take something that God is trying to do with putting men back into the rightful place, then to also make them lose their their ability to think and reason. Right. And we've been seeing so right. many horrible things happening shootings. in our world, the shootings yeah. and suicides. Just, and, just and torture, just, the, just, just evil. Crazy. Yeah. So so be careful is what we're saying. You know, absolutely. Um, you know, think twice before you say something when that person cuts you off oh, or yeah. says something out of the way. You know, um, you know, you know, just think ahead, you know, mm -hmm. think about witness, think about what's next, think mm -hmm. about what's at stake, because um, folks are not rational mm -hmm. and, and, and the response that you get could be one that could, could take your life, you know, Absolutely. or, or cause you some serious harm. Um, and, and, and we don't want that to happen to you. So, yeah. so we're praying for that, but we're, 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 we're telling you too, so you can be wise, be wise. Uh, with your decisions. It's not worth the argument. It's not about pride and who's the toughest and all that. This ain't the seventies. Yeah. It's 19, you know, it's yeah. Big, Biggie Small says it's 19, not 1983, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> step away with your fist fight ways. You know, it's, it's, it's not that any longer. So let's just be wise. Hey, you guys, we're going to jump on in today. Um, as we're, we're going to continue our layers of leadership, mm -hmm. a series, which is, uh, the series that we've been working on. Um, so this is like our seventh, uh, session. So I'm going to pull up a PowerPoint and add it to the stream, um, so that you can kind of see that. So hopefully you see us and you see a PowerPoint on the slide. Layers of leadership yeah. is what we're working, uh, um, uh, is the name of our, our topic, uh, uh, today or name of the series. So, um, as we go today basically um our objectives is we'll, we'll talk about some characteristics of leaders uh -huh. uh, and, and we'll talk about the difference between characteristics and character yeah. character traits or personality right. traits and character um then we'll describe four common types of leaders uh -huh. uh, so they're, they're global uh, it's a global big category so you can find different research or different resources uh, things about uh, types of leaders this is just one that we're offering you Mm -hmm. And it's global, it's large, so you should find yourself somewhere in there. It's a good starting point for you, so you can um, know your tendencies and 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 kind of um, know what to develop within your character, mm -hmm. so you can be effective, you know, uh, in whatever it is that you're doing, uh, so you can impact the kingdom. So mm -hmm. that's kind of what we're uh, uh, going for today. Um, so kind of stick with us a little bit. It's going to be, it's going to be a little more schooly, if you will, Bible study like kind of thing, <laughs> uh, if you will. But that's what launch is about. Launch is about, um, it, it, it's, it's about taking the word, the principles and mm -hmm. applying them to life. So you can launch mm -hmm. in every area of your life. And it's about making it simple, sim the simplicity of God's word so that we can apply it to our everyday life. Right. Sometimes it can get a little deep, um, depending on where or what you're getting. And if it happens to be that, you might miss the meaning and how to apply it. Love it. So love just it. simplifying it somewhat. Love it. Love it. See, I'm, I'm going to pull this out of the, the screen for a minute. And I just want to talk about um, the characteristics. Well, well, did I do I have one up here for you? Yeah, I got one. Here it goes. Yeah. Characteristic traits, characteristics or or traits. Or, or, or personality traits, mm -hmm. those those words mean the same. So we usually hear characteristics or character traits and character, mm -hmm. and we think that they're synonymous. Mm -hmm. They are not synonymous, they're mm -hmm. very, very different. Mm -hmm. So when you think of characteristics or personality traits, they are distinguishing qualities. They're things that determine how you're perceived. 
Right. So someone would say he's friendly or he's standoffish, you know, mm -hmm. or, or he's talkative or, or, or active or observant. Those are characteristics or personality traits. Those are things that you see in me, um, distinguishing qualities, how you perceive me. Right. So those things are all what's called dependent variables. So mm -hmm. I was a science guy. So a dependent variable means it's dependent upon someone else, something mm -hmm. else. So when another thing changes, that thing will change. Right. It's not constant. It's not consistent. It yeah. doesn't stand on its own. Mm -hmm. So I may be friendly in this setting. Right. But if I go mm -hmm. to another setting where I don't know a lot of people, I might be very quiet and introverted. Right. Um, so that that's the difference between a character trait and character or personality trait and character. But what we make the mistake of, especially in relationships, and I don't want to veer off too much, is you will see uh, young ladies, especially more more than young men, usually young ladies. Well, I don't know now because times are changing. Yeah, they have um, changed. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get fooled by the character traits mm -hmm. or the personality traits and we'll think that that's that person's character. No, that's just what they are right now in because that, in that setting. Yeah. Because when I first meet you, you meet my representative. Right. You know, I meet your representative. Right. You know, I don't really know you yet. Mm -hmm. So I'm making choices off of traits. Mm -hmm. Remember, traits are dependent variables, which means they're not consistent. They change depending upon the, the circumstance. Um, but character, on the other hand, it's your nature. Yes. It is something that you've developed, something you've chosen to be. It is based on principles that kind of govern all your choices and actions. So character are things like honesty, diligence, mm -hmm. integrity, um, um, kindness, uh, you know, those kind of things, caring. Th those are character. That's character. Um, no matter what happens, I'm going to be kind. No matter what takes place or who's watching, I'm going to have integrity, which, by the way, means doing the right thing when no one's looking. Right. <laughs> right. That you part. Know, yes. You know, I, I'm going to be trustworthy, um, whether it's a million dollars laying in the middle of the street and nobody sees it, you know, or there's 500 people that see it. Mm -hmm. I mean, character is consistent. It's an independent variable. It is something you have chosen to be. Not how you are perceived by others, mm -hmm. but how you choose to perceive yourself and be perceived. Mm -hmm. So you see the difference between character and character traits? One, one, one is a verb, one is a noun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Right. So 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 we want to kind of put lay that out first as, as before we start talking about characteristics of leaders, because um when you're talking about characteristics of leaders, are you talking about their traits and personalities, what they do when you see them, what you do when they're what they do when they're in that leadership position, whatever that position uh, entails, or are you talking about the person and just who they are? Right. It's, get the difference. Big big difference, right? And everybody won't know who they are, right? Depending on how close they are, those are the people who can determine. Ooh, that's good. That's so, real good. That's real good. You still are judging based off of what you see at that present time, unless you're close good. to them. That's real good. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, well, let's 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 just, just give you this real quick introduction. There are, are six universal standards that every leader exists, exhibits. Every leader, I don't care uh, whether secular, non-secular, uh, whether it's a leader in a household, leader of a gigantic Fortune 500, Fortune 100 company, whatever the case may be. Um, every leader um, is, 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 they don't wait. They don't wait to see what's happening, what's going to happen. When they see a need, they act, mm -hmm. right? And we're going to talk a little bit about that later when we give you four types of leaders because there, there's some dangers and there's some good things about that, right? Another thing is that they kind of um, uh, um, have their heads in the clouds and feet on the ground. What do we mean by that? They're dreamers. Mm -hmm. uh, they're visionaries. They're seeing ahead, but they're realistic about it. Don't take on too much. Mm -hmm. You know, they're not um, super optimistic or, or over uh, achieving to, to, to put themselves or their organization, whoever they're influencing in a spot where um, they can't complete what they started. OK. Or, um, you know, uh, 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 will, will damage themselves or others because they took on too much. So these are universal characteristics yes. of good or universal standards of good leaders. leaders yes. Okay. Yes. 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 <clears throat> so, so, and again, this is across the board. Okay. Uh, so we're not just talking, this could just be a parent. 
Mm -hmm. you know, in a household. Right. That's what I'm saying. Reach yeah. when you talked about secular, you can you you're yes. not just talking about in church. You no. can be talking about anything, anything, yep. anything that that person yep. is leading. Mm -hmm. Whether you own a car wash company or or whether you're a parent in a household, whether you're over a drill team, whether you have a a business or whether it's you know a nonprofit, a church, whatever the case may be, these are universal standards. Mm -hmm. Universal standards. And, and and we can actually give examples of each, but we don't have a lot of time and I don't want to kind of get into it, you know. So yeah, uh, uh, um they all use shared values to kind of motivate their organizations. So um uh, just yesterday, uh, Kim and I were talking with the whole um uh, um, uh, um reversal of uh, Roe versus Wade sort of from the, yeah. the, the from the Supreme Court. So what is our stance in this house on abortion? Exactly. You know, um, exactly. So that that's an example of that. Uh, shared values to motivate our. So we have the same stance. We're going mm -hmm. to be speaking the same things. Our ideologies and our um, intricacies around that stance may be different because I'm a man. Mm -hmm. Kim's a woman, you know, um, it, so right away there's going to be some differences or possibly some possibly. differences. Right. Possibly. Right. So some of those little int intricacies may be a little different, but it's the same stance. Mm -hmm. It's the same shared value, mm -hmm. right? Um, so as a leader, you got to find that. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, if it's, you're leading a football team, do you all want to win? Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? You <laughs> might not agree on how you're exactly. going to do it, but you want to win, so right. you come together. And, and, and in some teams, you got to figure that out, do you? Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I, I worked at some schools. I wonder, do you really want the students to succeed? You know, right. like, so, and, you know, so you got to have the same shared value. And then you have to know you can't do it alone. Mm -hmm. No leader can do anything alone. Um, I know a good I, leader yes, knows that. Yes, yes. I, I learned even in in house improvement and things of that sort, the garden, things of that sort. I I learn more and more every day um, that you know we two are better than one. Kim said it yesterday. It was okay. yesterday, the day before we were harvesting the collard greens and pulling mm -hmm. the, the collard greens off the stem, cleaning them together. Right, and and I guess it took a little. It went faster mm -hmm. than you thought it was going to be. And at the end, she said two are better than one. Mm -hmm. um can't do things alone mm -hmm. include collab you know collaborate work yes, together partnerships yes 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 good leaders know this but i do have to go back newt because one of the things you said because for some reason i felt like the holy spirit was letting me give me a flag on that with when he did the first one he said good leaders they don't wait they see an uh need an act so what we mean by don't wait is we're not saying they don't wait and get instruction and organize themselves yes. and prepare themselves to to go ahead what we mean is that once they have the plan, they understand the assignment, which is the new lingo now, and then they go forth. Right. They don't just not do anything. Right. So that's what that don't wait right. means. Okay. Right, right, right. right. Um, and leaders build more leaders. Absolutely. A, a true leader is looking to replace themselves mm -hmm. so that they can do something else. Yes. What did you what do you call that? Your um when you pass it. The baton to the next person, but the it's, relay race, right? But it's something else. I forgot what it's called. You Secession. mentioned it before. Yes, there that has to be established. Yes. Yes. Whether it's something small, you do. If you used to run the lights, you know who took that over. Now you, right. you're moving on to something right. else. Each time you have to have it set up so that someone else can right. take right. that role. I used to do sound at the churches, and I would always have four or five little that's true young guys around, that's and right. I would show them. I would teach mm -hmm. them everything I knew, and then. They'd all have little assignments. Before long, I, I wasn't doing sound. Yeah, anymore. they were doing it and you were sitting there yeah, listening you know, to it. Exactly. So, I mean, they're, they're, you know, we were able to do something else. Um, the same thing happens, you know, in your household, uh, mm -hmm. you know, at your jobs, in school, whatever the case may be. Leaders build more leaders. Mm -hmm. Leaders are not looking for gl a, a, a fame and fortune mm -hmm. and glamour. They're looking for the vision to be accomplished. Who right? can do this? Yes, yes. yes. So it's not, you know, you'd be surprised how much we can get done when we don't care who gets the credit, mm -hmm. you know, and then they believe that their life is a legacy. You believe mm -hmm. that you're important, that you have something to offer, something to leave here on this planet that only you can do. And you're here in this time because it's your time to do that. So you believe that your life is a legacy. So you're hard charging about that. Mm -hmm. You are going to do that thing. So those, those are six universal those standards, right? I just want to kind of lay them out as we're talking about leadership. But if we move on, um, there's some research that was done. Mm -hmm. Right. And this research was done by uh, a place called the Creative Center for Leadership, uh, a well-known national uh, uh, leadership uh, a conglomeration. 
And what they did was they did surveys across the board and they found out um, the 10 character traits um, that all leaders share. Now, not all leaders will operate in every one of these 10. Mm -hmm. They may have some of them, um, but they're all going to fall. These 10 will fall in all leaders. Mm -hmm. No, all leaders will fall, fall within, within these 10. These 10. <laughs> right. They not, they not, might not be in all leaders, but they... Somewhere. Yeah. So if you're looking at a themselves. leader, one of these 10 is going to be in them. And if not, then you need to consider whether or not they are <laughs> that person, Yeah, you know, how, how mature they are as <laughs> yeah. a leader and are you, what your position is in following them. So I just read them out to you. Honesty, I think that's kind of self-explanatory. Mm -hmm. um, uh, ability to delegate. Um, so delegating is not just getting tasks off your plate. It is giving away leadership. Mm -hmm. We talked that in one of the sessions before when mm -hmm. we talked about the King of Leadership Principles. Um, communication, big, 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 oh, and big. That's usually the biggest <laughs> problem that most uh, corporations, families, mm -hmm. um, marriages, marriages have. Marriages. Communication. Yes. And for remembering that you're a leader in your marriage, the both of you. Yes. If you don't communicate, then there is a problem right. in the relationship. Right. And, that's and, and that's tough because you never know what's going on at what point of the day, what was stressors, what's happening in my mind. And, and I may um, operate in a way where I think Kim's supposed to be reading my mind. You know, <laughs> I mean, I, I think I do that a little more than she does. You know, well, that's not what I meant. Well, you didn't say what you meant. So how would I know that kind of thing? So sense of humor, um, you know, stop taking everything so seriously. So, you know, it, it is serious and it's real, but but smile, mm -hmm. enjoy it process the ride oh i messed that up didn't i <laughs> you know right. whatever the case may be because we go back and fix that they all have a sense of humor uh, to make people feel comfortable they have confidence in themselves their skill set and in those that are around them these are things that you've heard in some of the sessions and before that we talked confidence about confidence in the one who has given them the yes, skill. yes indeed yes indeed yes indeed most of them are. a commitment commitment to to their you know to to, to the work the mm -hmm. task the vision the mission uh, you know, um, again, life legacy. Mm -hmm. They have a positive attitude. Again, this is what I say to myself all the time. If I see it, I'm supposed to be it. Mm -hmm. You know, I have to tell myself that because it doesn't always feel like it's going to work out right. You know, so I have to look in the mirror. I have to get by myself and say, you, I, I see it. It's there. I'm talking about see it. I'm talking about close my eyes and see it. Vision. Yes, it has been implanted, downloaded in me, in my spirit, man, and it's permeating into my soul, man. So I'm supposed to be it, no matter what. So got to have a positive attitude. Um, got creativity. Woo. So important. Yes. Definitely. Well, yes. Important. Yeah. You're the creative one. I don't know. Anything. Well, I think we are all creative because um, we're creative beings mm -hmm. made by a creative God. So with him putting all the things that's in him and us, then we all have different levels of creativity. The question is, how are you made to create? Right. And so for all leaders or um, yeah, all leaders, um, those who may not even identify themselves as a, as a leader, if you have creativity in you, then there is leadership in yes. you as well. Yes, love that, love that, love that. <clears throat> I encourage you to tap into your creativity. Mm -hmm. I encourage you to get by yourself. I encourage you to uh, uh, find a thing like I, I, I work out or I go in the garden or whatever it, it get by yourself so that you're hearing and seeing things from within you, not from what everyone else is doing. Mm -hmm. That's not creativity. That's <laughs> carbon copying. And if you carbon <laughs> copy, then you can never reach your maximum point. You'll mm -hmm. only be mediocre. You'll only be a repeater. Yes of what you see. And we're not saying not see something. To get ideas. And get ideas because what God will do. That. Yes, yes, that's cultivate different. That. Because you're supposed to see yes. and learn from what you see. But there's a difference when you get by yourself, when the Lord starts to drop and download things into you. Right. That is when he then is asking you to put your hand to right. it. Right. Yeah, that's the creation. That's part. the download you get. So don't be yeah. afraid of that is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid to step outside the boundaries of what <laughs> everyone <laughs> else sees all the time um, because uh, uh, what everyone else is doing. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what our society, and I keep saying that because our society is falling into that, the whole social media group think, um, you know, um, uh, what's popular at the time, we tend to lean towards that. And if people aren't doing that, then we tend to think that's not right yeah. or it's not good or yeah, not whatever. That's, and that's so untrue. That's so wrong. You cannot put God in a box like mm -hmm. that. He's a big, giant, omnipotent, omniscient God. Yes. He calls himself omniscient and omnipotent even after 
he said it is finished. Mm -hmm. He's still omniscient, omnipotent, omniscient. I mean, there's still more. Yeah. Um. So we can't put ourselves in boxes mm -hmm. long. So that that creativity is so important as a leader. That's how you move things from where they are mm -hmm. to where you see mm -hmm. that they can be. Um, and then they inspire. Mm -hmm. And we'll talk about inspiring. We talk about the types of leader. And they have an intuition. You mm -hmm. have, you, <laughs> you got to find, I talk to my wife a lot about this one, this one particular commitment I have in my life. And I say, it feels like such and such is about to happen. Yes. You know, and, um, Which and, is discernment. Yes. If we can just. Right. It's a discernment. <laughs> so you have to, but again, this is from a secular. Right. And, and the reason why I'm showing you this is because um, if we look in, um, I believe it's First Timothy, um, the uh, the uh, 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 first, uh, the third chapter through the uh, first through the seventh verse, I'm going to read it to you. Mm -hmm. um, it says, uh, this is a, and it's talking about the qualifications of overseers. It says, this is a faithful saying. If a man desires uh, the position of a bishop, he desires a good work. Mm -hmm. So it's not bad to desire right? <clears throat> a, a position. Uh, a bishop then must be blameless, mm -hmm. the husband of one wife, mm -hmm. temperate, sober-minded, of good behavior, hospitable, able to teach, not given to wine, not violent, not greedy for money, mm -hmm. but gentle, not quarrelsome, not covetous, one who rules his own house well, having his children in submission with all reverence, in submission with all reverence, reverence. they, they mm -hmm. go together, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Um, for if a man does not know how to rule his own house, how will he take care of the church of God? Six verse says, not a novice, lest being puffed up with pride, he fall into the same condemnation as the devil in the seventh verse says, moreover, he must have a good testimony. He must have a good testimony among those who are outside, lest he fall in reproach and, and the snare of the devil. That so, word novice, for those of you who may be wondering what that means, that means new to this walk. Right. You need some type of training and teaching over some, so that you're able right. not to fall into some type of. So, so I want to say to my millennials, because our Gen Xers, sometimes we use that as a way to stop millennials yeah, from yeah, moving yeah. into a thing. I want to say to our millennials that sometimes that happens on the job. Sometimes it happens as you're moving. But there still needs to be, even with me, a, a submission or a, I'm going to use submission in a positive way, a getting under the mission of mm -hmm. someone who has gone before. You have to have people who you want to pattern at least parts of your life after. Mm -hmm. There are four or five people that I listen to, watch, and pay attention to, and I pattern things about myself after what those people are, are showing the example of. Or, Based off uh, of what yes. you're learning from right, them. Right, So I'm yeah. not trying to be them, yeah. but I know I'm gleaning from them, mm -hmm. and what I'm gleaning that's from key. them allows me to do what I am doing. Right. So that's what that whole novice thing mm -hmm. is about. We can talk about that in this. Mm -hmm. But you should see a chart up on there and you see in that first column, it says First Timothy 1, uh, 3, 1 through 7. And I just read that and I pulled out the words from each of those verses. So you see the uh, first verse is mm -hmm. desire to be a leader, right? And and what I want to say to you is it's okay to desire to mm -hmm. be a leader. So if you look in the second column, it says kingdom and the third column, it says secular. So mm -hmm. that red is those are the traits we just showed you from that study. And how they fit. Right. But if you look at kingdom principles, those words should be very uh, familiar to mm -hmm. you. So uh, in, in, in 1 Timothy 3, 1 through 7, that first verse, it says desire to be that leader, desire mm -hmm. to office of bishop. Not a problem uh, with that. And what is that trait or that characteristic of that leader? Um, it's courage. Mm. He's desiring to do something, not for the position, because th th that's that's a big responsibility. It's right. It's huge. Right. And he's diligent or mm -hmm. she's diligent about it. So that's the kingdom characteristic. And how does that match to the secular one is confidence. Mm -hmm. You know, there's intuition and commitment to the to the officer, to the work. Why am I showing you the two together? Because leadership was developed by God. Mm -hmm. And and we can't separate the two. No. But what I'm trying to show you is that the words that, that are used in secular text or secular information, it is kingdom. It's mm -hmm. kingdom based principles. So I want to show you that so that you can wrap them together, bring them together in your mind so that as you're operating in whatever capacity of leadership you are, you're doing kingdom work. And your character 
is operating under Ooh, the same standards. Very good. Because it cannot be separate because right. of church right. or home right. and work. Right. They all go straight across the board. Love that. Love that. <laughs> if you look at the second verse, um, temperate, uh, self-controlled, uh, respectable, hospitable, a teacher. Those are all things listed in that second the second verse. Well, what are the kingdom characteristics or, or, or character that needs to be built? You got to be patient, patient, temperate, compassionate, right? Respectable, hospitable, a skilled teacher. You know what you're doing. You, you put the work in mm -hmm. to be able to not just understand it for yourself, but to show it to others, right? right? And what is the secular ability to delegate, <laughs> ability to inspire? Um, so I'm not going to go through each of those. Um, that is up on, on the, um, uh, is there one good. you want to go through? No, I'm saying they're all really good. Right, 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 right. Um, so, I, so I, I just, okay. I'm sitting still for a minute because I want to stick with the time. But they're there for well, we you might have to, to watch. And, and you can back. go back and you can put pause. You can hit pause on your, your, your screen. Um, this is going to be available on our YouTube channel as well. Um, Launch TV, Launch 360 TV. And you can hit pause on the screen. And you can look at them and look at the parallels. And, and begin to think about that a, a little more deeply, right? Um, but what I want to do for today, I want to give you that so you can kind of understand the characteristics or the, the, the pieces of character, that middle kingdom, that, that middle column, the kingdom. Those are character. Uh, 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 those are character decisions, diligence, courage, uh, patient, um, stability, noble, uh, um, uh, stable, integrity, honorable, those are character choices that you make that don't change, mm -hmm. right? The, 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 they don't change. <laughs> you know, the, those are things that can define who you are, mm -hmm. right? So those are things that you want to begin to try to build. So I told you that there's four basic types of leaders that we want to show you today. So I'm going to give you these big four uh, categories right here, and I'm going to move quick with it. Um, so the first one is called a trainer. You can see them up there. A trainer, an isolator, a gladiator, and an inspirer. And those are some of the traits of the trainer. They, 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 the trainer does what? Uh, <laughs> the trainer uh, 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 aligns and prepares, over teaches, um, you know, believes in giving exposure to folks, giving them all the information, um, you know, um, but, but it prepares them over and over, but rarely acts, mm. rarely moves forward. So I find myself oscillating from trainer to other things, depending on what it is. I mean, you know, you know, I'm transparent, you know, so it, 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 that's where the trainer kind of stays. Um, so the trainer is, is <laughs> excuse me, does great staff development, you know, um, uh, uh, they're training folks to be great, but they never kind of really do, you know, so really rich people in their organizations or their family, whatever, but nothing is actually getting done. Um, so the, the question I have for you is, could you be training your people away? You know, wow. could you be over training them and preparing them, but there's never any qu quenching of the thirst to do a thing. So those folks walk away from you. Or those people never get the chance to present. Yes. That's what he was saying. Yes. I was like, are you trying to say, I thought that. Well, right. If you're training your people away, you're constantly training them, but they never have any practice with what you taught them. Right. So how will they know what they can do? Um, and that is like really a big deal. And some people that I know, they are constantly showing, 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 and they never allow the people to stand up and represent what right. they've learned. Right. So. That's right. what a trainer can be. Right. Okay. right. <clears throat> and I mean, I don't really have time for it, but I, I had a BB gun when I was little. My dad, I got a BB gun and my dad wouldn't let me shoot the BB gun unless he was there. So he would get home from work like 530 or so. And um, then he would want me to shoot at targets, you know, in the backyard with him. Um, well, you know, I was an adventurous young man. And, um, <laughs> you know, it was summertime. I'm home all day. Oh. I want to shoot the BB gun. We had little trees and stuff behind our house. You know, I want to shoot at the little birds and stuff like that, right? You know, and um, so I, I one day <laughs> took the BB gun, went out shooting, but wasn't paying attention to the time. I came home too late. My dad saw me with the BB guns. Of course, I got in trouble. My point is it was a trainer experience. You know, you got to give people the opportunity to shoot the gun. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you know, you give them an opportunity to do what it is. If you're training them uh, you, to make them useful uh, and, and purposeful, that that's great. 
But it, that's hard to do when the CEO is the wants to be the star. Right. So leaders, yes. hear this. Hear this. If you find yourself in that position where you're constantly teaching, 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 you you do believe in exposure. You you are a planner. You you've got you're prepared. You know, but you're always the one that's on the stage. Yes. If it's always you, then right now you are under the trainer area mm -hmm. and the people who you are training are eventually going to take what you taught them and they are going to exit stage left. And if you're wondering why people don't stay, it's because you are over training them and they're not getting a chance right. to practice what they've learned. Right. So shift. Exactly. Just shift. So an example of a trainer, and we're, we're not going to get to all of these today. That's off great. Road. That's great. The we got more to talk about next week. The, the ex <laughs> an example of the trainer, the Pharisees. Mm. Pharisees is a perfect example. Wow. Everything had to go through them. Every decision. Oh all the God. laws. Yeah. What people could do. Where they could do it. When they could do it. All mm -hmm. of that. Right. Jesus came and, and kind of pulled Work that apart. Right. Um, so... I, uh, Moses was a great leader. Mm -hmm. now, I'm not saying he was not a, a great leader, but um, Moses and his crew um, were were types of trainers. Mm -hmm. When you when you look at it in respect to the promised land, mm -hmm. to that 40 years and and the things that had to go along, right? And here's why: uh, you have to ask yourself: Can you lead a Joshua? Can you lead a Joshua? Can you lead the person that is going to say? Let's go up at once. Mm -hmm. Can you lead the person that in three days is going to cross the Jordan that you've been 40 years getting to? So, so wow. those are op not, not saying that and the reason why I use Moses because he's a great leader, mm -hmm. but he had trainer tendencies. Mm -hmm. it, it, things had to get a certain way. If you read that story uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, before they would move on. And what it did with Moses is, 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 is it brought up some of his earlier tendencies in life, that anger component anger. and things that were never dealt with, which caused him optimally to not be able to see mm. the promised land. So that those are those are trainers. Uh, should we stop there? I think we're we at should stop minutes. at trainers today. Okay, we'll stop yeah. at trainers. We'll come back next week and we'll talk to you a little bit about the isolator. We'll start with the isolator. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll get into the gladiator. The gladiator is fun to talk about. Um, and, <laughs> And then optimally the inspirer. Again, I want to say to you that one of these types, these leaders are not, uh, one's not better than the other. Mm -hmm. They're different. Um, and the, the idea is that you, if I know I'm a trainer, then I need to get, I need to make sure there's gladiators on my team. Or, right, or isolator <laughs> yeah. or uh, inspirer. You know, right. Exactly. If, if I know I'm a gladiator, then I need some isolators because I need some folks to, to rein me in. But um, I don't want to get ahead right. of where we're going. But <laughs> I want to say this to you because as you look at this, I don't want you to think one's better than the other. No, no. So if not. you find yourself in that trainer component, as I do, mm -hmm. find myself oscillating in and out of that trainer component, it doesn't mean something's wrong with you. It doesn't mean that you're a deficit or bad. It means that's your tendency. And you need to understand that tendency and work on the character so that you can be effective as a trainer but moving into the other realms or types of leadership as well. So I'm going to use this example. Put your hand in a fist. If you are a trainer and nothing wrong with you, this is what you got to learn to do. Let go and let those who you are teaching, please believe me, they are well equipped because you are a good teacher. You know, you're a great planner. You just have to let them go and let them grow. And please believe me, you will be excited to see the work that you've put in their life. Nothing wrong with it. Just got to let them grow. So you guys, we were, we had the, uh, let me take this off in, in a, we had the, um, uh, uh, um, in, in our stream yard here, we didn't have the the uh, comments up. We couldn't see everyone. So we yeah. want to go ahead and say hello. We see uh, Llewellyn Coleman. Thank you for tuning in with us. Is that the top? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, we have, um, uh, Pastor yeah. Walitra. <laughs> Pastor Bishop Apostle. Doctor. <laughs> Hello. Walitra, uh, thank you very much for tuning she in. She ordained us. Yes, Love she her. did. I see a Robert Pastor Clay. Pastor Robert Clay. Thank Clay. you very much. Pop it. There's Mika. Oh, hi. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Good to see yeah, you we all. We couldn't see this, yeah. you guys, Good but thank you for 
tuning in. Right, right, right. So we want to just say hello to everyone and thank you for tuning in. We're going to go ahead and I, I guess we're going to move to the children's part. Right? Yeah, let's move on. We right. didn't. I didn't prepare a new one, but we're going to play one that's um, from before. I've tried to do like 12 of them and just keep using those 12, but it looks like I've done 13 of them We and I need to add some new ones. Right. But thank you so much for um, stopping by launch today. I also want to show you this. If you are a leader, a pastor, let me get it a little close. And you are looking for Sunday school lessons for your children. There's a month's worth of Sunday school lessons in here for your ministry. Please contact me or reach out um, on Amazon and you can get the book. I'm sorry. It's called Launch Kids. And you can get all those Sunday school lessons right, to right. teach your kiddos some lessons at home or at church. You can inbox us on, on, yeah, on Facebook. Yeah, inbox for, them too. Or things of that sort of, we'll make sure you get one of them. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'm going to speak a couple things over your life and then we'll move into the children's peace. God, in the name of Jesus, we're just Father, going to go ahead and, 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 and ask you even now, God, that you will dispatch the angels mm. that you've assigned to each and every person that will hear this this broadcast god mm -hmm. live or recording special angels that you've assigned to them to minister to them to begin to speak in their ear gates uh to begin to massage their heart gate and their mind gate god so that they will be cognizant leaders so that they will develop that leadership ability that's within them to be more effective more impactful in your kingdom in all the work that they do god we're speaking right now for clarity in their minds so that we will seem together Seem together. You said that, it, you know, if we ask for wisdom, you'll give it to us uh, liberally. So we're, we're we're calling forth that wisdom, God, to seem together the principles that we're teaching, God, yes. and daily life applications so that we can do, as you say in Galatians 5, live in the spirit, walk in the spirit and not fulfill the lust of the flesh, which yes. means we're accomplishing the things of the kingdom. So we're speaking now over each and every life uh, that 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 hears this this message and the lives of those that are hearing this message, the ones, the lives that they'll touch, God. We're speaking exponentially, God, in the name of Jesus. So as we leave this broadcast, yeah. rain blessings. Yes, Father. Rain blessings. We, 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 you said, ask for peace mm -hmm. that passes all understanding. I don't mm -hmm. care what's going on in yes, our society, Father. what's around us, God. You said if our minds are stayed on yes. you, you'll give us perfect peace mm -hmm. that passes all understanding. So, God, get in front of us mm -hmm. so that our mind is stayed on you, so that we're magnifying you. At, we're magnifying you, looking at yes, you Father. as we move forward, God, so that we we can we can navigate and negotiate this tumultuous uh, 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 the tumultuous mm -hmm. times that we find ourselves here in in, in 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 this earth at this time. In Jesus' name, God, we we declare. And we decree those things over everyone uh, in, in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, sorry. Look, I was excited because <laughs> I love pr the prayer um, and declaring <laughs> things over God's people and over our own lives. So you guys have a great week. Remember that we are definitely not launching at you, but we are launching with, with you because this is a work that God has placed on us to do first to ourselves and then share. Um, I think that's it. Is it? That's it. Let's get ready for the Oh, kids. and remember that everything grows here. Oh, you are good, good, good ground. We build a little break, you even though we know that. we are good ground. You got to say that. We have to show you pictures of our garden. Oh, how, our how garden. It's but listen, you are good ground. Good ground. If no one told you, nobody. I'm did. telling you right now, you, you are, are good, good ground. ground. So that doesn't mean, you know, today, you know, because no. everything's going well. You are, your state of being, what you are yes. is good ground. So, you know, that means everything grows there. Yes. Whether it's winter, spring, summer, or fall, you still are good ground. Good so the ground. seeds that are dropping in you, they're going to they're gonna grow. They're going to take root. They're going to produce a harvest. Just keep watering. Mm -hmm. keep, keep, keep pulling the weeds. Mm -hmm. Keep aerating the ground. Keep protecting them from the seed eaters. Yes. Everything, 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 everything financially, relationship wise, career wise, property, gift, uh, vision, dream, goal, aspiration, good it all. Good health. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. It all grows. And there. those years that yes, the canker does. worm and all of them mm -hmm. ate up, the restoration of that will come back according to God's word. That's right. The time that it ate up. Yep. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the restoration of that, Father. Everything. Everything grows, grows here. here. All right, guys. <laughs> Enjoy the kids' lesson. Hey, guys. I'm Super J. 
Saturday. And today is Saturday. Launch International Kids on Saturday. That's right, and I'm Super Zach. Well, we are here for Launch 360 Ministries Kid International, that is. That's right, Launch 360 International Ministries for Kids. All kids, one big world and one great big guy. Here we are growing, learning, and becoming. Who we're called to be every day. Children are growing, so start them off the way they should go. And even when they're old, they will not turn from it. Proverbs 22, 6. They're learning, so fathers don't exasperate your children. Instead, bring them up in the training and instruction of the Lord. Ephesians 6 and 4. And they're becoming, for the creation waits in eager expectation for the children of God to be revealed. Romans 8, 19. courageous 
in my schoolwork. Sometimes I get a little nervous, but not anymore. Because you just said I can go through any battle and be on top. God's going to take care of me. And I believe it. So that's how I'm going to be courageous, Rocky, the courageous girl. Yeah, I'm going to be courageous. Uh, I'm going to be courageous sharing God's word. I'm not going to be afraid to tell people about the goodness of God. I'm going to be courageous in my schoolwork too, Super Zach. But I'm going to be courageous about spreading the good news so that everybody can take the message that you just gave, Rocky the Courageous, and we can be strong and be bold because God is with us. This was an amazing lesson today. Thank you so much for sharing with us, Rocky the Courageous. And I hope everyone out there is going to be courageous too. I know it's a lot to take in, but if you watch this video from Saddleback Kids, you'll understand what I'm talking about. And you'll know why I'm as courageous as I am. Rocky the Courageous Girl. And keep in mind, we do not own the rights to this video, but it's so awesome, we had to share it with you. The Faithful Hall of Fame, Joshua. This is Joshua. Joshua was an Israelite who followed Moses through the wilderness. One, two, three, here we go. Oh, yeah. Joshua learned from Moses as Moses led the Israelites through the Red Sea. And as Moses taught the people about God's law. Oh, yeah. oh I see. Oh, listen up. One day, Moses was talking to the Israelites. He was reminding them of the law and all that God had done for them. Yeah. I'll be here, all you. When Moses had finished giving instructions to the people, he said, I am no longer able to lead you. Hold on. Do not be afraid, for God will neither fail you nor abandon you. Yeah. Then Moses called Joshua Me? and told him to be strong and courageous, for he would lead the Israelites into the promised land. See? Then Moses died. Uh, to this day, no one knows exactly where he was buried. The people and all of Israel mourned. Uh, the people of Israel looked to Joshua to lead them, as Moses had told them. There we go. Yeah. God told Joshua to be strong and courageous, for he would be with Joshua wherever he went. He told him to remember what Moses had told him and to study the book of instruction. God told Joshua that it was time to lead the people of Israel across the Jordan River and into the Promised Land. Joshua told the Israelite officials to go throughout the camp. They instructed everyone to pack up and get ready to head out. Joshua told the Israelites they were going to cross the Jordan River. See here, there's what we're gonna do, okay? And so, Joshua prepared to lead his people as the Lord had commanded. Thanks again for watching our channel. And we want you to follow us on YouTube. Make sure that you subscribe. See you here next week for Launch 360 Ministries. Kids International Ministries, that is. Oh, and don't forget to stop by Amazon and get some of Ami's World books. Her newest book is When Cheerleaders Go on Strike. Check them out. You'll love them all. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And I'll see you again next week. Because we're going to learn more about...